It's 947. Thanks so much for joining us here on Action News. Good morning. It's time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson's here. I already saw lighter fluid, so I'm just going to take your lead and put these guys on. Exactly. Safety goggles. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are we doing today? We're going to talk about vortices or a vortex. Okay. And you've probably seen this every day. The water swirling down your bathtub, your yep. toilet, your sink. Um, even larger scale, tornadoes and hurricanes sure. are vortices. Which we saw down south earlier this week. Absolutely. Okay. Now, a one way you can look at a vortex is something you make at home, right? This is really safe. It's just two two liter bottles connected with a little plastic connector, or you could duct tape it, whatever. Okay. Connect Sounds the two good. together. And you flip it over, if you get the water rotating, oh yeah, you can, you can see it right there. You can start to see a vortex start to form in the center. So like a little tornado. And the whole idea of a vortex is you have matter moving around a central core. Sure. So this is definitely the at-home version. Try sure. this out with a couple two-liter bottles. Okay, good way, especially for the younger children to kind of grasp what's happening or at least have a cool visual, right, Absol at best. <laughs> Absolutely. But I want to make a vortex out of fire. Of course you do. So yeah. what okay. I've got here is a Lazy Susan, okay, okay. a little spinny Which table. Which we have, a lot of us have them either in the fridge or in the cabinet. Right. Exactly. Normally and we put condiments on them, but today we're putting fire. Our okay. condiment is lighter fluid and some sure. cotton balls. So we'll go ahead and light that up. And what I want you to do is just gently, of course it is on fire, gently spin the turntable. Let's see if we can make a tornado here. And I kind of set you up here because it's, you're not going to really be able to do oh, that. Okay. Okay? It's well, really hard. Right. It's really hard to make that happen just by turning the fire. Okay. What we need to do is actually turn the air that's around the fire so the fire can lift up. We can feed it more oxygen and get it moving up in the air. Okay. So we're going to remove this. Mm -hmm. We'll step up to a bigger version. But and this looks just like a Pyrex bowl. It is a Pyrex. these guys at home. Absolutely. All right. Pyrex bowl. We're going to take a garbage can. Okay. Wire mesh. If you have a college student, I'm sure you have one of these <laughs> around the house. Okay. Absolutely. We're going to put the lighter fluid down inside. And then, just to make it as big as we possibly can, I've actually modified another trash can. Oh. If you can help me hold that right All there. All right. I'm just going to flip that tape down. Okay. And what we've got now is a really large trash can. Mm -hmm. The mesh is gonna help drag the air around. We just need to light the lighter fluid inside. And we want it to be mesh because of the air, correct? We want the air to be dragged in that vortex okay. around All right. the fire. Let's see what so we can let's do see here. So let's see if we can light this up from a distance. All right, sort of, kind of, okay. Uh, it'll, it'll catch, there's plenty in there. So what I want you to do now is slowly begin to turn the turntable. Okay. And you can go a little bit faster okay. than that. Okay, all right. Picking up the pace here, the fire's keep, starting, oh. Keep it going, keep it going, a little bit more. Oh, and, wow. And what you start to see is the tornado building up oh, inside. Oh, yeah, that's now, pretty cool. I'm gonna keep spinning it. I want you to stick your hand next to the, feel the heat. Oh, yeah, this okay. feels like a campfire, we're essentially. Gonna, we're gonna stop it. The mm -hmm. heat level drops. It does, very if quickly. If you start spinning it again, as that vortex. Oh, yeah, I can feel it all the way up here, it's obviously. It's really, really hot. Sure. Now, something like this actually happens in forest fires. Obviously, there aren't Lazy Susans and garbage cans in the forest, but there are trees that can create an unstable airflow. Which is why a lot of times we'll see it spread so quickly. Absolutely, Does that because play into that? Okay. instead of burning just on the ground, now the flames are moving up to the treetop level, and so you have the canopy burning as well sure. as the ground level. Huh. So, just kind of a fun thing. Again, should probably point out, even though you may have this stuff at home, yeah. you may not want to actually try this experiment. It sure. could, this could get is, out of control. This is one that would need some massive supervision, but something that you guys do down at the Science Center a lot. You we, do these type things that might not be something you want to do at home, exactly. and kind of give kids an idea of the science behind something really simple. And we want to get kids excited about science. We want them to learn how to do some of these things safely. As part of our combustion show, we do things like this, talk mm -hmm. about fire safety, how to put out fires, how to use a fire extinguisher, um, and some of the chemistry behind what happens. And I know you brought one today, safety first. We might have to use it here in a minute before we set off the smoke alarms <laughs> in the building. But that's really cool. Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming down. Definitely plays into what's happening out there in our world with the tornadoes that were down south this week. So Absolutely. interesting take on something very cool. Well, thanks so much for coming in, Carl. And hey, if you want to go down to the Imagination Station, just a reminder, uh, is the unsinkable Molly Brown making a stop today? The, not Molly Brown, but her great granddaughter. Oh, is the there. great granddaughter. Helen Benzinger. And you can come down. She's there all day. She's going to talk about the life of her great grandmother, life on Titanic. Um, she's, she's great. Come down and check her out. Wonderful. The Titanic artifact exhibition still going on down at the Imagination Station. Carl, thanks so much for coming in. That's the Sweets Imagine It. Let's send it over to sports with Dave.